I'm very happy on behalf of the organization committee to welcome uh, um, uh, Professor Filippo Giorgi, who uh, is the head of the Earth Science of Physics here in the ICTP and who supports that school and he wishes to uh, tell us a little welcome message. Your floor, the floor is yours. Well, thanks very much. Uh, sorry I'm a bit late. I thought the school was downstairs in, in the other building. But, so. <laughs> Uh, anyways, welcome to everyone. Um, I guess uh, some of you have been here before, some maybe have not, so let me say a few words about the ACTP. Um, the ACTP main mission, at least one of the main missions, is to foster research in uh, developing countries. We've had activities in uh, air pollution, and in uh, aerosols, especially interactions with climate for uh, quite a number of years. Unfortunately, the person who was leading this activity has left. So we have a job opening, in case you are interested. There is a job opening in this area of research. Um, it just came out last week. Um, so in case you are interested, you uh, can apply. And uh, I just want to welcome everybody. And uh, you know, my good friend, uh, Francois, and uh, Eric, that I just met today. I hope you have a good uh, workshop. Uh, I will be in and out so because, as usual, there are many things to do. But uh, if you have any questions or you would like to talk to me, just uh, send me an email. And my office is in next door in another building, but walking distance. Uh, so I'm there in case you want to talk. Well, thank you very much. So thank you, Professor. Um, on behalf of the organization committee, I just want to thank you again for the, your support on this school and to thank the uh, staff of the ICTP who made a tremendous work on making that school possible. So thank you to all. Now it's my turn to welcome you on behalf of the uh, Scientific Steering Committee. And before I do so, I'd like to call them and uh, so that they can introduce themselves, uh, starting by uh, Francois, since you're the closest. Uh, can you come and say a few words of presentation so that people know who you are? Hello everybody, thanks for being here. My name is uh, Francois Dulac. I am working at the French uh, Atomic Energy Commission in a laboratory uh, who is dealing with uh, environmental and climate sciences. I've been coordinating a, a program since uh, 2010 called CHARMEX, which is the Chemistry Aerosol Mediterranean Experiment. So we've been uh, doing a lot of studies uh, on atmospheric chemistry in the Mediterranean region. You can find a number of paper, uh, by the way, more than 60 now in a special issue in ACP and AMT, online journals of uh, Copernicus. And in this uh, program, we decided uh, a few years ago to enlarge our uh, focus and consider the interactions between uh, atmospheric chemistry and its impact on Earth. So this is the, the idea of uh, organizing this, uh, this uh, spring school, enlarging our communities and our focus, uh, making people meeting themselves between the uh, atmospheric chemistry community and the uh, health sciences. So welcome everybody. We have people uh, as, uh, assisting, participating from uh, 27 countries which is very nice and which is also um, due to the fact that we are co-funded by ICTP uh, to support people from a number of, uh, of countries to attend. So it's our pleasure to welcome you here. And please don't hesitate if you have any question on, on this uh, school. Thank you. Now I welcome Carla Ancona, who is going to also say a few words of welcome. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Francois. Uh, my name is Carla Ancona. I'm Italian, come from Rome in Italy, and I'm an environmental epidemiologist. So my job is to evaluate the health impact of environmental stressors, uh, mainly air pollution, climate change, but also many, several others 
that we all have. Uh, I just want to say also myself, thank you very much to ICTP and all the, for the organization, for the technical assistance for everybody. Uh, I'm sure that the way we are now five days together, we can meet each other and we could create a network of researchers. The, we are uh, 27 countries, but also a very nice mix between people coming from the exposure assessment part, people from the health impact assessment. I think it would be really nice to create a, a network among us just to put the base for future collaboration. So welcome to the school and I enjoy yourself. Thank you, Carla. So we have another um, person in that committee, who is Constantis Macris, also an epidemiologist in Limassol, Cyprus. He will uh, join us today, later today, so you'll have the opportunity to meet a little uh, later. And now, myself, Eric Amonou, as already told you, uh, I am project manager for CHAMEX, who, which uh, Francois told, told you about, so atmospheric chemistry and impact focused in the Mediterranean Basin. And I'm also the animator or project manager for Archimedes, which is a network of scientists, climatologists, uh, atmospheric chemists, and epidemiologists that gather together in order to, like just Carla just said, try to uh, uh, create some events, some research projects, some things we could share, like this school we are in today. So, on behalf of the Archimedes Network, on behalf of the participants to this CharmEx uh, uh, project, on behalf of the organization committee and the ICTP staff, I welcome you myself to, to this school on uh, human health and uh, its environmental drivers, climate change and uh, air quality. And now I just wanted to tell you uh, also that I am very pleased to see you here and I wanted to congratulate you also for being here since there have been about 120 applications for that school. We could only uh, take 40 to 50 of you. So we decided that we would create a webinar uh, out of this school. Uh, so that means that we are uh, filming all the lectures that you will be giving here and broadcasting live this lecture onto the internet. So while I'm talking to you, 50 person here in the room, there are about 50 person more registered and watching us online on the internet. So I would like to welcome also this participant, uh, online participant to this uh, webinar. I hope you will enjoy the webinar. You will have the opportunity to ask questions. We have here our webinar manager. Who's you're, talking, you're talking to me, Naka, sorry. <laughs> Hi guys, hi people in the room and hi people, uh, hi people on the webinar. Uh, so everybody wants to, I mean, you, all the people in the room will be able to ask questions, of course, directly, but people who want to ask questions uh, from uh, Cameroon, Italy, France, or anywhere in the world who are attending the webinar, of course you can, and I will do my best just to, to uh, transfer these questions to the panelists who will come and uh, expose us uh, so interesting things. Thank, thank you, you, thank you, Dorothy. Uh, so, um, so now I would like to talk about a little about why we're here, why we've organized that school, and uh, what are the objectives of that school. So Carla mentioned it, and this is very interesting, it's exactly what it is meant to be. This school, we all believe that there is a urgent need for action to be undertaken for better environment, better human health, and this action uh, uh, needs science to get involved and get connected to some other stakeholders, such like the civil society, uh, the economic world, or the political world. Uh, science has a great uh, op uh, opportunity to act for the diagnostic, diagnostic of the problems to help create, the, identify the solution, and tailor the solution, and maybe also monitor the performance of the solutions. So this, uh, we, we think that there is a need for more diagnostic, and especially when it comes to health impact uh, assessment of uh, climate change and air quality. There are places around the world where we miss those kind of assessment or where these assessments are rare. So we decided we should gather people together that are all interested in this diagnostic and share with them the uh, theoretical concept, uh, the methodology, the, uh, um, the protocols, and the tools so that they could uh, uh, go back to their country and start building uh, their own health impacts assessment, sharing the diagnostic together uh, in order to get action in, uh, on a better air, better climate, and better human health for the world. 
So please, here it's all about uh, discussing, questioning, and taking all you can back to your countries so that we can uh, make this school successful. Don't leave this place with any unanswered question and make this school a success. Okay, now I have some practical information I want to share with you. Uh, we have last minute modification of the program. So there is a switch, there was a talk by uh, Bernard Swingdo at uh, 2.30 this afternoon and a talk at noon by Carla Ancona this morning. Uh, so these two talks are switched, okay? So we'll have Bernard Swingdo at noon and Carla Ancona at 2.30. There are also two poster sessions, one tonight, starting tonight at uh, 4.50, uh, and uh, one tomorrow, but at the same time. So you've seen that the poster uh, site is around the room uh, in the lobby of this building. Suzanne told us that we should better put the, install the poster on the uh, left-hand side of the building here, uh, and please make sure to do so uh, as soon as possible. Like this, we can discuss on your poster during coffee breaks and, of course, during the, the poster session uh, tonight. Okay, now we have also some... Uh, so we have a, built a program that we hope you'll enjoy in this school, but we also have worked on the side if some side events. So, yeah, there are two side events I want to stress here and invite you to participate. First, tonight, there is a reception dinner at the uh, Leonardo uh, Adriatico, sorry, building uh, near the seashore, down the hill. So it's a five-minute walk. You can go with the search shuttle at uh, six tonight. But if you come back, you'll have to come back walking. There is no uh, shuttle for, to come back this afternoon. But it's a very nice walk, I, I can tell you. Uh, so you're invited, of course. We can share uh, ideas, projects, whatever you want, and dinner together uh, on a nice place to, uh, on, in front of the sea. And we have on Thursday uh, another event that we, uh, we care about a lot, which is a roundtable. We want to discuss and get discussion with you, open discussion on a question with, which is how science can uh, bring better hair, better climate, and better health to the world. So we think that this is the opportunity to discuss together what are the difficulties we can face, what is the role of science, uh, what are the opportunities, uh, what are the, um, uh, the roadmap or the track to build this better climate, better health, better, uh, better hair, better health to the world. Okay, and this roundtable will be animated by Dorothy uh, Moison, who, by the way, didn't uh, introduce, I didn't introduce, but maybe it's not the time to do so. Dorothy is a senior French journalist, and she is now uh, focusing on environmental issues, and she will be the one uh, animating that roundtable. Do you want to wish to say a word on that, uh, Dorothy? Uh, yes, it will be for Thursday evening, uh, Thursday, I mean, at 4 o'clock or 4.30. Uh, for one hour and a half, we try to, I mean, the, the, um, the issue uh, of this round table is really to exchange together. Uh, sorry for the people of the, for the webinar, this one won't be recorded. Uh, but um, you, for, for five days, you're going to talk about scientific questions, which is really interesting. But uh, for this uh, round table, what we would like is really to, uh, to tackle the societal, uh, if sometimes political questions about uh, air quality, because it's really interesting to know how to measure uh, the air quality and evaluate uh, the impact of uh, all that. But it would be really interesting to know in all these countries you're living in, uh, what are the problems you can meet and how maybe some other in some other countries manage to face these problems and, and what the, the future could be just to, to help uh, this air to, to, to get better. That's all. So I really hope you will come, uh, many people would come and that you will exchange together uh, panelists and uh, participants. So that's really important to, to exchange together. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dorothy. Okay, now, um, almost finished with this welcome talk, just to share some pr practical information. So lunch, uh, probably most of you know, but uh, the lunch can, will be taken here uh, in the cafeteria, which is just upstairs this uh, building. Uh, you can also have lunch at the, Adriati uh, at the Yatico building, yes. Both your, your ticket, uh, Milt Coppens, works on both restaurants, both cafeterias. Uh, there was an issue Suzanne told me about if you need to get to pay for accommodation or whatever or be reimbursed for, for, for anything, it has to be done today, otherwise it would be a bank transfer that you need to organize with ICTP. 
Then uh, we have also uh, this issue of uh, if you have uh, pocket money for daily expenses, this is a two-way process. It's, you have to go to a building which is next, next to this building, behind this building, and get the check, and then get the cash out of the check. Well, this is, if you need more information about that, you should contact Suzanne. And finally, Suzanne stressed that we have here some uh, historical uh, uh, things to see. So the uh, library is very interesting. And there is the office of Abdul Salam, who, uh, a researcher who was the one who uh, was a famous researcher in, uh, in uh, particle physics and who gave his name to this uh, institution. Well, so I also added two contact person, key person, Suzanne Enningsen, for any issue related to ICTP. Okay, I, you have her email. And for program related or uh, questions, if you need to contact somebody, if you want uh, any question on the facts, if the slide will be available or whatever, you contact me. So I'm through. I wish to, uh, we're going to move to the um, first lecture by Joss Lelyveld, uh, who uh, is a specialist in atmospheric chemistry, a specialist also in climate change and impacts of atmospheric climate uh, chemistry and, cli and climate impacts and who is working at the Max Planck Institute, a great contributor on, both, on all those fields. And I will now declare the school open and, uh, and enjoy. <laughs>